Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6 some very powerful words. Verse 14, he said, If you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will forgive you also. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. I want to talk to you today about nine aspects of powerful forgiveness. And we need to understand these and we need to apply these so that we can be right with God and so that we can be healthy ourselves and so that we can be right with other people. Are you ready? Nine aspects of powerful forgiveness. Number one, what is forgiveness? Forgiveness is choosing to cancel the debt. It's, it's not saying in your mind, you owe me and I, I, I deserve this or that. It's letting go of the debt it's choosing to cancel the debt of what they owe you because they've hurt you. Number two, it's setting yourself free. The beauty of forgiveness is when I forgive you, I set me free. It's a powerful thing. Too many Christians live in bondage to bitterness to other people. You can set yourself free today when you choose to forgive. Number three, it's giving up the right to get even. We, we have this sense inside of us. We want revenge. We want to get back. We want to make them pay. But as long as you have that inside of you, you haven't forgiven. forgiven. You've got to choose to forgive. And part of that is choosing to let go of the right to get even. Number four, it's looking past the hurt to the person. Realize this. Hurt people hurt people. The, the reason they did this bad thing to you is because they've had bad things done to them and they are a hurt person and they're expressing their hurt by hurting others. Look past the hurt and see the person. Ephesians chapter 4 says we're supposed to be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving one another even as God has forgiven us. Aren't you thankful that God looks past uh, the, the fact that you've hurt him and he realizes you're a hurting, broken person, and he chooses to forgive you, We're, we need to have that same mindset, and we need to choose to forgive other people, realizing that they hurt us because they are hurting. Number five, this is very important. True forgiveness makes four promises. It says that in, in your mind, you're saying to the person that you are forgiving, I will not dwell on this. I'm not going to keep thinking about this over and over and over again. It's saying, I will not bring it up again. I'm not going to keep bringing this up to you or to anybody else. I'm not going to keep bringing this up. I'm forgiving it and we're moving on. Number three, I will not talk to other people about it. You haven't really forgiven as long as you keep telling everybody else how much you've been hurt. When, you, when you're done talking about it, that's when you're beginning to forgive. And number four, I will not let it stand between us. Look, God forgives us, and yet He restores His relationship to us. When we forgive others, we're willing to restore the relationship. We're choosing to not let this hurt stand between us because it's been forgiven, it's been canceled, it's been removed. Number six, Powerful forgiveness is wishing the other person well. You know that you've really forgiven somebody when you're able to say in your heart, you know what, I, I want God to bless them. I want God to treat them well. Number seven, it's something that may take some time. Deep hurts uh, it, it, it cause deep roots of bitterness. It may take a long time to fully forgive. You gotta start choosing as an act of the will to forgive and as you do it, you will begin to feel more and more forgiving day by day as you continually make the choice to forgive the person that has hurt you. Number eight, it's walking with God. Colossians 3.13 says that we're to forgive other people as God has forgiven us. Realize that God is a forgiving God. If we are to be His children, we are to be uh, forgiving people. We're walking with God when we choose to forgive others. And number nine, it requires faith. Jesus was talking about forgiving the person that has offended you 70 times seven. And they said, oh Lord, his disciples said, oh Lord, increase our faith. It takes faith 
to believe that when you choose to forgive, it actually makes things right with you and God, makes things right within yourself, and can uh, make things right with others. Right now, there's some of you that have deep hurts in your life. I am asking you to make the choice to begin practicing the nine aspects of powerful forgiveness so that you can be set free, so that you can be made whole. Why don't you make a choice right now to forgive that person that has hurt you, lied about you, cheated you, robbed you, abused you, raped you. Choose to forgive that person. Choose to take the forgiveness that God has given you and choose to start giving it to them. When you do, God will set you free.